Hello, this is Paula J from Secure and I'm glad to see you here. You're watching my new hacks episode. Feeling excited? Good, because today I will share with you man in the middle attack. Now, we could be thinking that man in the middle, it's so passe. It has been like out there 20 years ago or something. Not really, because every single time we are delivering penetration tests at the customer side, you are actually using man in the middle attack to achieve something. Yes, yeah? so all the types of spoofing activities that you could deliver, they might be delivered with some tools and by using some techniques so it will be nice to become familiar with those so no time to do this let's begin in the short words man in the middle attack is an attack where the attacker manages to be in between a certain target machine and potentially a server and uh, when the attacker manages to listen, relay, um, possibly alter communication in between these two parties. So in order to be able to do it we have to use various techniques so that we are eventually able to actually get that traffic. So for that, for example, we could uh, leverage ARP poisoning attack in order to manage to capture communication in between two parties. And in this demonstration, I would like to show you how super easily we are able to do it by using the window tool. And uh, for this one, we're going to be using our team tool, which is called CQRP spoof. And when you run that, then basically you are able to, for example, even run Wireshark or use various other tools in order to capture and alter the traffic that is happening in between the target machine and some, some other machine that this target is trying to communicate with. So over here, we've got a second machine where I'm going to do IP config to show you that we have here uh, the IP address 10.10.200. 10, 10, and over here, that's the hacker machines on the left. And this is the IP configuration of the hacker's machine. So 10.5.5.11 and eventually 10.10.104. 10, 10, so um, using the simplest possible way to show you how man in the middle, man in the middle potentially could work uh, would be actually to use FTP over here, which we all know it's in a clear text, but our goal is going to be to capture communication that is not directed to us. So here we go. So here we're going to do FTP to 10, 10, 10, 10. And on the hackers machine, we're going to use CQRP spoof like you see where we specify client IP address 10 10 10 200 and eventually 10 10 10 10. So we are capture, capturing right now communication that's happening in between these two uh, and we are uh, at that moment also extracting because that's what CQRP spoof does additional credentials if we manage to capture them and if we don't then we are just performing the um, poisoning attack. So FTP 10 10 10 10 here you go to here, we're going to start that particular console. Um, yep, and we've got the tool running already. Perfect. Okay, spoofing, spin sniffing. And, and then we've got FTP to 10, 10, 10, 10. And then I'm just going to specify some kind of a user and the password. Yep, so as you can see on the left, we manage actually to capture credentials, but in general, you manage to capture traffic. That's the most important part that was not really um, sent to us. So this is basically CQRP spoof tool that allows you to do effective uh, men in the middle attack. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure that you're going to visit our blog, secureacademy.com slash blog, where you are able to download the tools, not only seen in this episode, but also from the other episode. And also in the blog, you're going to find more interesting episodes like this. See you there.